Cincinnati is blessed because we're a very old city, truly first rate and established. Along those lines, we have an old and wonderful zoo. Many say it's one of the top five in the United States. We got very involved in the city for lots of reasons, but if we want good people to work here, they want to come to a good place. We try to make this the most enjoyable place to live. I think we're pretty close. We have world-class events, museums, charities, activities, and the zoo is one of those wonderful institutions that is truly first-rate. People love the zoo. The objective of the Cincinnati Zoo is to inspire every visitor with wildlife, and it's really the front door to conservation. The Cincinnati Zoo's been around a long time. It's 145 years old, and during that time, it's obviously seen a lot of changes. We realized that animals need more space, they need more complex space, and it's our job to make sure they have the best life that they can. And companies like Western and Southern are what make that possible. Western and Southern's been involved with the zoo for a long, long time. My wife and I actually chaired Zoofari three or four years ago. We have been a long time supporter and sponsor for Zoo La La, Green Education Center. We've basically supported things that needed to be done. Where we are right now used to be the zoo's main parking lot. When we moved the cars out, we were able to make it into our biggest and best exhibit. It houses everything from giraffes to cheetahs to hippos. But the premiere is this African lion exhibit. And Western and Southern was the sponsor and made it possible. In fact, our male lion is named John after John Barrett. The zoo is going through a bit by bit remodel the whole place. And the lions were of a special interest to us. First movie I ever saw was called African Lion. I was six years old. There's a majesty about lions that's hard to duplicate. And to make something that people really enjoy, like the lion exhibit, is super. These new exhibits are very, very different, very participatory and very complex. You can see cheetahs run on our show. You can feed a giraffe. You can see some of the African animals up close with some of our interpreters. Working with them, with their natural behaviors, there's a chance to really inspire people with these animals. The Cincinnati Zoo is very fortunate to be in a town like Cincinnati where there is so much private philanthropy. The leadership role that John Barrett, Eileen Barrett, and Western and Southern play for the Cincinnati Zoo cannot be overstated. If Western and Southern's involved, well then, so are other corporations as well. And that is how we move forward. We are so blessed to live in this wonderful city. We have to make sure we preserve what's good about it.